I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're dealing with. We'll find out what's coming up for the two of you. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Capricorn, recent past, energy between you and your person, two of pentacles, and it's with the Wheel of Fortune. Now the two of pentacles could be about two main issues at front in your mind, so you may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things. Multitasking is not your friend when you get the two of pentacles. So Maybe you need to cut down on things that you're doing in order to focus on just two main priorities. Your financial situation may needs to be more balanced when you get the Two of Pentacles. So you want to make sure that you're paying attention there. Now it's with the Will of Fortune. Now this card, it's a reminder or it reminds us that this too shall pass, whether it's good times or bad times, it passes. So, if suddenly you find yourself sitting on top of the world, well, you gotta keep your perspective, because as that too, like everything else, changes. Live in the now, count your blessings, and just realize that much of life is, is actually outside of our control, but... Even that's okay. Roll with the changes and think positive. So, what I'm picking up on is that for some of you Capricorns, you could have been dealing with someone who um, was, was uh, this person was, could have been really busy type of person, or this person was a juggler. Um, they were back and forth, maybe between you and someone else. For some of you, this person was a two-timer. Um, yeah, that's what the Two Pinnacles can be about. Um, going back and forth between you and someone else. Um, maybe this person was a player, but that's just for some of you, but for others of you, this person was just very, very busy. Very busy. It made you feel like this person, um, they were finding, they were having trouble finding time and energy for you. Put it that way. And because the Wheel of Fortune is here, you probably felt f fortunate to have this person. In the beginning, but like I said, things changed. They started to be busy, or you started to realize this person was a two timer. And then, for some of you, you you could have realized what what this person is all about. Whether they were just busy, busy with work and school and this and that, or if they were a two timer or a player. You probably, with a little fortune here, some of you realize it's time for change. Because the wheel is, it can be about change also. Yeah, you, you knew it was time for change. Yeah, for a lot of you, you felt very um, lucky to have this person at one point. And then things did change. So yeah, I got a few storylines there, but that's the recent past energy between you and the person you're dealing with. Let's see what's coming up for the two of you. Okay, so we got the tower, and it's with justice. Now, the tower can be about trying to hold too tightly to the status quo, which can be a disaster, because you have to roll with the changes. It could be that some people's situations that you've counted on as being there for you may no longer be there in quite the same way. Now, this doesn't have to be drastic or dire. 
because we all know the change. It's the nature of life, and if we try to prevent it, it could be like trying to roll upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the air, this could be the time that some of them come crashing down, and that's only a problem if you let it be. And I say this because you'll be able to replace them with some more realistic, reachable goals and dreams if some fantasies do fall apart. Now, the tower is with justice. Justice actually deals with the idea of karma and the law of cause and effect. So it's important to remember that not everything you're dealing with is a direct result of your own actions because sometimes we're called upon to deal with the res to deal with the results of the actions of someone we care about. So don't blame yourself unnecessarily. And if you find yourself directly involved in a court case and you get justice in a reading, well is likely to be resolved at least a large degree in your favor. Okay, so coming up, Capricorn, t the tower clarified by justice. Yeah, so what I'm picking up on is that, uh, yeah, like I said, you, a lot of you are dealing with someone that's a two-timer. They could be a juggler. They go back and forth between you and someone else. Um... But it looks like, um, uh, for some of you, you could be asking this person to, um, do right by you because justice is here or to make some wrong right. Um, but it looks like, it's, it looks like with the tower here, for some of you, it's showing that the, the relationship, the connection, it, it falls apart. Yeah, it falls apart. And f for some of you, your, your person, they're going to try to to probably fix it. Yeah, because justice can be about um, making things right. Yeah. So... Your person could see it's falling apart, but they, they're trying to make things right. Or, like I said, you could have asked them to do right by you, but it fell apart anyway. Yeah, I, I'm getting so many different storylines with this this reading here. So just take it for however it resonates with you. So, yeah. Coming up, it could fall apart, and then they're going to try to do right, or you could be asking them to do right by you because you know that they're here, there, everywhere else, and they could be with you and someone else. You could be asking them to clean up their act and do right by you, and it falls apart any, anyways. Yeah, so... That's for some of you, but let's move on over. Let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Okay, so we got the Ace of Wands and the Two of Swords. Now, the Ace of Wands it can indicate new beginnings, and they're very positive new beginnings. It could be an area of accomplishments. It could be related to work, career, family, romance. And if you're having a difficult time now, just know that things are about to get better very soon. This Ace of Wands... It's about being upbeat, optimistic, hopeful about the future with a good cause. So you're likely to be feeling really energetic, very positive, or you'll be feeling that way soon. And I say soon because if you look at the Ace of Wands, it's the card above the word challenge. It looks like this wand is sitting above the clouds, but no, it's actually burst. It burst above the clouds, very powerful and fast and strong. So things could turn around for the better very soon. The Ace also tells you that now is a really good time to start something new. Now it's with the Two of Swords, which tells us that your partnerships, they're likely to be going somewhere well, whether it's a friendship, whether it's romantic, 
business or maybe um, personal. However, you should consider the depths of your commitment to equality in the connection and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by your person. And if you are not, it could be time to bring things back into balance. But this, this definitely does require open communication. So your talent, Ace of Wands, clarified by the Two of Swords. So what I'm getting is that with this Ace of Wands here, like I said, for some of you, your person is going to try to do right by you after this tower moment. And it looks like they're wanting a new beginning. Or, or they could be trying to have a fresh, a fresh new start with you with the Ace of Wands here. Yeah, undergo some type of new beginning with you. But it looks like with the Two of Swords here, you could decide to actually... For some... I'm getting so many different storylines here. Okay, for some of you with the Ace of Swords, you're going to choose to avoid and block this person. They're wanting a fresh new start. It fell apart. They were juggling. They were all over the place. You asked this person to do right by you. For some of you, it fell apart after you asked them. Here they come again, trying to get a fresh new start with you. So for some of you, you're going to avoid and block this person. They won't even get the chance to have a fresh new start with you. Now for some of you, for others of your Capricorns, um, you're going to ignore the warning signs. Because the Two of Swords can be about ignoring the warning signs. If you've ever seen um, the picture of the Two of Swords, it's the card below the word challenge. Uh, this lady, sometimes she's wearing a, um, a blindfold over her eyes. But she doesn't have it in this one. But um, the meaning of Two of Swords can mean a few, few different things. Like I said, for some of you, you'll choose to avoid and block this person. For others of you, you you're going to go for the new beginning, and you're going to choose to ignore the warning signs. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not getting just a straight reading here. Yeah, I keep getting different storylines, which is not really common. It's not, it, it's, it happens, but it's not often. So, I'm sorry I can't give you just a straight reading. But anyways, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We've got the Four of Cups and the Swift of Three of Cups. Now, the Four of Cups can be a card about wishful thinking. It warns us to remember to pay attention to what is now and to count your many blessings that we each currently experience and not to worry too much about what could be. Because it's really easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. So, be sure you're counting your blessings. Don't spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away. Because a lot of life actually has to, to do with where we put our focus. So, if you can, try to put your focus on things and people in your life that you have to be thankful for. Now, with so the Three of Cups. Now, this Three of Cups... Is interesting. It can be considered a card of reunions, but it's not always, well, I'll put it this way. It can be the type of reunion in the broadest sense of running back into or meeting up with someone that you've been away from for some time. Now, this is considered to be a really happy reunion, very upbeat. It can also mean celebration, your own or someone that you care about. Maybe celebrating around a new baby. For some of you, you'll be celebrating a wedding or some type of happy occasion. So your outcome, Capricorn. Four of Cups clarified by this Three of Cups. So yeah, what I'm, what I'm picking up is... 
Mm, somebody's having regrets here. Because the Four of Cups is about having regrets and wishing things were different. You know what? I'm going to say it again. I'm getting some more downloads. This, this is not just a straight forward reading. So, for some of you, you could, um, well, there's three, uh, there's four of cups, the card above the word outcome, okay? It can be about not accepting what someone is offering you. So, like I said, your person wants a new beginning. They want to try to do this again. Like I said, they, for some of you, your person wants to fix it. And make this tower moment stand tall again. Make the tower, they want to make the tower stand tall again. They see or they know that it's falling apart. Um, they want a new beginning. For some of you with the Four of Cups here, you're rejecting what they're offering. They're reaching out to you with this Three of Cups. They want to come back. So they want to... Um, Probably just celebrate. Do some type of celebrating with you. Or do something that um, will take your mind off of this. Do something that's um, joyous. Do something that's happy with you. They may, may, they may try to do some things for you that they know that will make you happy. But you're not accepting whatever they're offering with the Four of Cups. That's for some of you. Now, I told you I'm getting um, a few different downloads here. Now, for others, for your other Capricorns, um, you could feel like your person um, made you feel devalued and unloved. Because you, you knew or you found out that they were juggling, they were a two-timer. And um, at one point you felt lucky to have this person. But then they just, it seems like they started to just be all over the place. Dealing with you and then someone else. The connection came falling apart. You decided to avoid and block them. And for some of you, like I said, here's the other storyline. You've got this someone else. With the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups can be about someone. Uh, can be about someone that you used to know. Making a return. So you could be going back towards somebody that you used to know. Um, and it's saying it's going to be a happy come together. So you could be trying to take your mind off of this person. By um, having, a, having a very rejoiceful happy come together with someone you used to know. Yeah, because your person, um, they could be having regrets with this four of cups here. Or you could just be feeling really down. Feeling devalued and unloved with the four of cups showing up. And it looks like, um, you know someone? That you know that can pick your spirits up. Yeah, and the two of you will celebrate and have a really great time. <laughs> so yeah, this is, those are too many storylines for me. I like it when I get just, just a clean slate, a clean storyline, a clean, just one story, but I got too many here. So I hope it resonates. I hope you enjoy the reading. Um, as you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. Yeah, I will also um, put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings, if you'd like to try one of those. So, 
Capricorn, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care. Come back and join me for the next Capricorn reading. Like I said, just in case this didn't resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, when you get these readings, the roles of the people can be switched. They can be reversed. Meaning you could be your person or your person can be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or maybe even a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates. Because these are general readings. Yes, they are. They're not personal readings. So, Capricorn, thank you so very much for watching. I'm wishing you all the best for 2021. Happy New Year's. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day and take care.